What's up everybody? I'm here in my new apartment in Raleigh. Eventually I'll do some videos on my new city here and kind of some things around the area. But for this vlog, I want to tell a short story of a time I went whale watching in Taiwan. And if you're wondering about the title, long story short, I started hanging out on the bow of the boat and ended up so we had this team retreat in Taiwan in a city south of Taipei along the coast and we had this brilliant idea to go whale watching. And yeah, I know whale watching sounds like a blast. I was super excited about it. It's pouring rain out but we still load up into the boat and we head out into the ocean. And not only is it raining, there's a lot of wind and the waves were huge too. I'm talking like the boat went all the way up and down the waves as we were going. And I started off really chipper and excited. There was a lot of adrenaline there at the beginning. I was having a lot of fun on the front of the boat. This is crazy. Now, in America, first of all, there's no way you would be allowed to go out in a storm like this on a tour. Secondly, there was one metal pole separating me from going over the front of the boat. Also not allowed in America. There was not much care for safety, but if I'm being honest, that's what made it a lot of fun. No joke, there was parents who were having to grab their kids so they wouldn't fly off the side of the boat. Okay, so pretty quickly, after several minutes of spending time on the front of the boat, uh, my stomach got the best of me and started moving out of its place and uh, yeah, along with several other people, I threw up. A lot. A whole lot. Thankfully, I did look over in time to see some dolphins that were swimming close by, but no whales. That was, that was a complete lie. It should have been called dolphin watching tour. But John ended up capturing this lovely footage on my GoPro. So that was whale watching in Taiwan, and afterward we went and celebrated uh, a birthday over dinner. Happy birthday to you! It was a little hard to stomach the dinner, but it was delicious. I'll probably have more stories like this to come because I have a lot of gems from Taiwan I was never able to edit while I was there that I will share with you in the future. Until next time.